Christina are not your average couple. On any given day, when they're at home, you are most likely to find them organizing their new house. The more average this couple try to keep their lives, the more they stand out. They are often questioned by friends and family how they do this. <laughs> or this. They both do all of this totally blind. The couple has invited me today to talk about their book, The Color of Love, and share their remarkable story of choosing courage over fear. Come in. Come in, come in, you almost Please tell me how you met. How we first met, it was a bit of a, <laughs> a, a, a bit of a messy situation because I was still sick by then. Mm -hmm. So I was in hospital and he was my, uh, he, he was my counselor at that time. Oh. So that's the first, first time that we met. We became a couple, I must say myself, in the year 2005. Mm -hmm. That's when we, we, we officially became a couple. Christina, you said that you were sick. Um, you were in a hospital. Please yes. take us through the, the, that time. What happened? Okay, I am born with a condition called hydrocephalus. So um, this condition, it... Uh, Occasionally, it, 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 the, 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 the tube that they've put, the shunt, which is called the shunt, normally blocks, or, or, so I have to go through a surgery. So at that time, the, sh they, the doctors um, did not notice that the shunt was damaged, so it, uh, it damaged the, the water, the hydrocaphala had damaged the eyes. I lost my eyesight when I was 20, after being being sick and the doctors could not uh, at that time pick pick it up that it was a it was a faulty shunt, so it it damaged the eyesight. I was in denial at first. I in fact I was I was totally not in agreement with them. I was I I kept on telling them that you know what I know that. I was not born blind, so this condition will never happen to me. So I was in total denial, total denial. As a result, when they took me to a counselor after that for counseling, she couldn't even, couldn't even penetrate through me to tell me otherwise. So that's where I almost had to be called in for intervention. Do you remember that day? I'm sure you do. Um, that day, almost, wow, what was it like? First and foremost, when you come and then I come to her, I've noticed that um, even when she was uh, talking to me, uh, I was talking as if uh, somebody is, uh, you know, uh, behind her, is facing the other direction. Mm -hmm. Then that tells me that the person is uh, frustrated, mm -hmm. more stressful thinking about this new condition, mm -hmm. then I see actually that you might be thinking that, uh, I mean, it's all about her schooling. You'll never be able to go on with her education and so on, which is a myth, mm -hmm. because um, blindness is not an obstacle. Mm -hmm. You can still be able to go on with your education, but to her, because she did, she did not know that, mm -hmm. that was a, a real problem. And remember on that time, she was on really, um, already on her metric. I uh, told her that actually, uh, I myself on my side, though I'm blind, but I was trained uh, almost to do quite a lot of things. I just want to know when when 
when you guys decided that you wanted to come together yes. and establish that you were you were you were just going to start as a couple mm -hmm. did the fact that both of you are visually impaired come or, or influence that decision i'll start with you i was christina for me i would say it did for me because i wasn't born with a visual impairment and when he first proposed i one of the the, 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 the decisions that, that I took was that because he's blind, I think he would best understand my situation. Mm -hmm. I was busy praying, asking God to give me a partner. Uh, to me, Christina is not a wife, but it's a partner. In her darkest days, Christina found a husband that remained a solid source of stability. And together, they continue to shift perceptions about people with disabilities. Thirty-two nations, forty-four matches live on SABC One and nineteen SABC radio stations. SABC is the official broadcaster of the twenty eighteen FIFA World Cup Russia. I feel the real present. <laughs> and it's nutritious and delicious. It's good, I really like it. This celebrates being South African. We love our beer, we love our food, we love our music. For, for knowing who are going, you must know where you come from. For all your travel trends, catch us every Sunday, 12 midday on Channel 404. Special assignment. Crime keeps the society in terror and pain. Why so? If, if someone phones me, this phone me, tell me, okay, okay, I need a silver. And I get your driving, I'll take it. What pushes normal people to be so hard, heartless, and brutally kill one another? The other side of it could be more for their own psychological need. Uh, it might be part of a sexual fantasy that they have. Uh, it could be about power and control. After proper investigation is followed, the perpetrator gets arrested. It was part of a massive process. And ultimately, they were part of so I think just as said. Emotional scars remain. We would pay any price to get him back. And the sad reality is that it's, it's gone. Special assignment. We unravel the truth every Sunday at 21.30. Amos and Christina celebrate the best that marriage has to offer. Together, they have conquered challenges of living as a blind couple. 13 years of marriage has taught them two is better than one. She's not a wife, she's my partner. Hmm. One weekend, I had to set up the washing machine and see that we put the washing together and do the washing mm -hmm. for us. And because um, this house, there are some stairs that are in the outside going to the washing line. So I'm not scared on, uh, that much to heat on some things. So that responsibility um, is taken by me. Let's talk about other things. That, what happens then? I mean, you're the one that takes on the, the laundry outside, but. Christina, what do you do? Do you cook? Do you clean? Um, everything, everything in this house is a partnership. So when I cook, he does the dishes. Mm -hmm. When I sweep, he mops. When I wash, he hangs the laundry. And he does the ironing, of course. Oh, so why, <laughs> why is he doing the ironing? Because I guess he loves it better than I do. <laughs> ah, 
Bye. When Amos does the dishes, Christina will constantly check the pot to ensure that the heat is not too high or too low. Amos is often the one who does the ironing at home. He shared with me a joke that their friends and family use to tease him about his gardening skills. So, Dr. Amos, let's, you're very proactive here at home. Um, when it comes to doing the gardening, which you do, how do you get around to that? Yeah, when I'm doing gardening, I have to take off my shoes yes. and wear push in. Yes. Because I have to feel where I have to use um, a speech color to take off the weeds, you see. Yo, oh, okay. Yes. Oh. So how, you would know which ones are the weeds? When you uh, there is still in lake side, it's a joke. Um, sorry, <laughs> yes. Uh, I myself have planted uh, some tomato there. Yes. And then it happens that one day I see that there is a lot of, you know, and wanted uh, grass. Yes. Then I take a stick out of yes. trying to clean the yard. Yes. And I clean everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So when did you realize that you're actually taking out? My, um, my, one of my neighbors yes. came and said, oh no, this is just wasted everything. Oh no! Going to put it into the dustbin, even the tomato here. <laughs> <laughs> also, in on this joke is Christina's mother, who has been there for the couple from the beginning of their union. <laughs> she bears testimony of the time when those around her didn't believe that the couple would make it on their own. Habanyala, but na ban zaka bari kenyadi sadi ukoz. Unya di sadi ukole di fufu me o felice mara irentu. Oi se mo tunelo kusut. Kebekiri. Solanga barata mudimu. Solanga barata kereke. Mudimu utlo ba zaka barbas kwa na di ukol. Yanu seke se tabela. Kuhur mo pelunyaka. Lin na kake ba diwelez. O bona. Hadi ezu do se ba diwona. Se ba diwe sanye bona ba sabun. Se ne song kuzo fasa kuhur lage zane mungu niwe. Ne santiri kinto ba tuba sabun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So one would ask, you guys have been married for 13 years, how come there are no children in the picture? It's a decision that we, that we both took, that we don't, we, we don't want to complicate our love with <laughs> kids. I believe there is a lunch that is prepared. Yes. Um, please take us through the process with my crew, we want to see you prepare, finish off the preparation. I've been told over and over and over again that this is a partnership. I am looking forward to the partnership to put together the food, to serving the guests. Christina and Amos continue to prove their critics wrong by being themselves in love, unconventional 
and committed to making their marriage work. Good morning to you and thank you so much indeed for choosing Morning Life. But I want to know yeah. the basic thing. Chris Alden Lewis, SABC News, in Park Town, Johannesburg. Zimbabwe, Mzondi Limbej, SABC News, Luanda, Angola. Let's take a look at your market indicators. Thanks for staying with Morning Live. Let's bring you a sports news. Let's take a look at your satellite image. Set the agenda for the day with Morning Live. It's part of the live to Criselda Lewis, who is standing by at the arbitration hearings. But I didn't think about it at the time that people could be dying. Let's update your sports news. Get all the dominating stories locally and globally on Newsroom every Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. Amos and Christina wrote a book, The Color of Love, to highlight the plight of people with disabilities. So what inspired the book? It's love, of course. Mm -hmm. And the concept that people put around it. Um, so I wanted to highlight some elements that we, we tend to overlook in love. I wanted to show that love doesn't, doesn't have any color. It doesn't, it, it cuts beyond boundaries. It doesn't have any, any boundaries attached to it. Mm. Most of the people actually do not know anything about disability. Mm -hmm. they, they exaggerate things. Mm -hmm. uh, even if the person wants to help you, uh, actually doing the thing for the person, you are not helping him. You are just doing the things for, for him as if he cannot he function at all. Mm -hmm. Though um, blindness is not a disability as such, mm. it's just a challenge. Mm -hmm. What are those biggest misconceptions about disability and love or disability and relationship, disability and marriage? I'll start with you, Dr. Amos. Um, you see, there are those people which take disability in as a thing that if you are disabled you don't have to engage to those things which are done by people who do not have you know disability at all which is a myth mm -hmm. because disability does not change you from the concept of human being mm -hmm. you you might be having a challenge actually all of us we have a challenge to me, disability does not work to us. It's only one person that we can call that person is disabled. It's somebody who has passed away. That person has a disability because he cannot do anything. Mm. He's dead. A family that prays together stays together. The couple are dedicated members of their local church, a sacred space that has contributed to the growth of their marriage. Together, 
church has become an integral part of your marriage life. Yes. Uh, please tell me about that journey. Where did it start? And how has church really shaped your marriage and your life as a couple? Okay. With me, it's the church started a long time ago. Okay. At home, we, we, uh, I, I was brought up in a, in a, in a Christian family. But then when I, later on, when I met with Amos, I found that he's also rooted in, in, in Christianity and in, in church. So we, it, it helped, the church setting or Christianity helped me in particular in, in, in accepting the new condition that I have. And it has, it has also helped us as a couple as well in building us our morale, how we view life especially as a family that that things like 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 uh, uh, the partnership that we have it's rooted in christianity that we do everything together including god of course uh, in our in our in our life and what's the role that you play in the Amos of the church are you just a member of the congregation or are you guys involved in activities that take place at the church um uh, i Actually, both of us, we are a counselor at the okay. church. Mm -hmm. A counselor, we give counseling to those people who are who the newly born Christians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we tell them about the importance of accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. and telling them what steps now they will have to follow. Mm -hmm. They strike me as people who are very courageous. You know, if you, if you know their journey in terms of having to live their life uh, first of all they are not people who feel sorry for themselves that's much i can tell you secondly they refuse to be dependent on anybody thirdly they are very involved i mean they've been very involved in our church you know that Amos, as you know he's he's serving in the counseling department and uh, very involved it took us a while for us to be sensitized to the needs of people with disabilities kaholo those years and Ramos really uh, uh, really helped us and and when they got married i was so blessed by it because uh, their love for god their love for one another their love for the things of god really bears testimony to the fact that there are people who really have a lot of courage in their hearts. I think I can just use the word, they are just a courageous couple. That's the one word I can use for both of them. Do you still celebrate Valentine's Day? Uh, the, the, uh, oh, Valentine's Day on a daily basis. Oh, don't, don't, don't every day. Hmm, you don't say? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So how do you usually celebrate? Um, okay. Uh, on, the, on the previous one, he actually cooked lunch. Mm -hmm. I remember my... If, if my mother serves me when he cooked lunch and he he bought me a box of chocolate and he gave me a prezi, mm. a cup and a frame. Oh wow, that's Although great. I don't know how, what, what is written in that frame. But, mm. yeah. So Christina, you, you said to me you don't know what's written on the photo frame. Do you, are you curious to find out? Maybe do you, do you, do you, do you give it to your friend who's be able um, to see to read for you? No, I've, 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 it's actually the, mm. the, in the cupboard. So. It's in the house? Yes, it is. So would you want me to read it for you? Yes. Oh. Pleasure. <laughs> so when did he get you that then? Uh, Which year did he get you? Yeah. So last year that the Amos bought Christina um, a picture of a frame, she hasn't looked at it yet. So I'm going to be the one. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that reads it for you for the first time. Is it okay that Amos? No problem. Okay. The one I love. Life is twice as beautiful shared by two. A world filled with love, ever old, ever new. Life's twice as beautiful shared with each other to love one another. Lots of love. Spending time with Amos and Christina has proved that love does indeed conquer all.
I feel the real person. <laughs> and it's nutritious and delicious. It's good, I really like it.